Google Bard just released one of the best updates so far, and that's the ability for Bard to actually understand the content and the visuals inside of a YouTube video. Now, most of us don't use Bard anywhere near the amount of time we spend on ChatGPT, but this new update is gonna be really useful if you rely on a lot of information through YouTube videos like this one. And I use plugins right now inside of ChatGPT. This works a whole lot better. Okay, so to access Bard, go to bard.google.com. And if you click this question mark, there's an update section, which I wish all the different AI tools had. This gives you a full layout of all the updates they always roll out, the newest one expanding Bard's understanding of YouTube videos. And this is not just pulling the captions from the YouTube video. I ask it questions about what's visually included in the video where the caption has no idea about and it actually did a good job. I'm gonna share 10 different prompts for you to interact with YouTube videos that I found most useful as we go through this video with some examples. So it says we're taking the first step for Bard's ability to understand YouTube videos. The first thing you wanna do, even though Bard does have the ability to see YouTube videos to some extent, it really does it mostly through this extension. So if you click this extensions, there's a bunch of different extensions, well, five right now, but you wanna make sure the YouTube extension is definitely turned on. So go ahead and turn this to blue. And then let me go ahead and start a new chat here with Bard. And basically this is how it works. Let's say I wanna make a Thanksgiving turkey. So I said, give me a recipe for a Thanksgiving turkey, which is gonna give me in text, but I'm gonna say, show me a video so it actually goes to YouTube. That's the default. So when I say, show me a video, it only searches YouTube through that extension. Here are recipe videos, and it's gonna pull up a bunch of different videos here. Typically, I think it pulls five videos based on my experience with the search results. So let's say I like this video here, or I like the second video, let's say. I could go over here, and say, give me the recipe for video two. And basically he knew what video two was from the five he gave me and he went through it. And I checked this multiple times before recording this video and it was accurate every time I tried it. So he pulled the ingredients here, he pulled the instructions here and he pulled the tips here from the video. And this is the video, video number two from that list. And then you could follow up, maybe the cooking time or whatever else you need to know about this. You could have a bunch of different conversations with it, with this video. But let me show you some examples here with prompts that dig into the visuals of the video too. This one is one of my favorite prompts that says, can you describe the overall tone and style of the video? Is it informative, entertaining, and persuasive? Typically this kind of helps you figure out a video. Maybe you don't wanna commit the time to watch a 20 minute video. You could kind of get ideas about what the video is all about just asking questions like this. Let me pull up a different video and I'm gonna ask some other questions related to the visuals too. Okay, this time I said, how do I use Google Drive? Show me a video because I know I've made a video, this one actually, it's a video I've made in the past. So let me go down this one. So I'm gonna ask it questions about this video since I understand the content of this video, I could quickly make sure it's actually accurate. So right now I said for the Halfinity video, which is mine, what's the key points and the insights that were discussed in the video? And it did a good job. What is Google Drive? So it basically broke down all the different sections I have in the video. What are the, some of the key points? It gave me kind of a bullet point list of the key points. Again, very accurate based on this video. Now for this next prompt, let me show you this example. I said, give me a, a video about personal finance. Again, it pulled five videos. And I'm gonna say for video two, were there any charts, graphs, or visual aids, right? This now, is not gonna know anything that would be included in the captions file. So that's typically how these things worked in the past. Any ChatGPT plugin usually pulls the YouTube caption files to answer a question. Let's see what it does this time though. And look at this, it says, yes, there were charts and graphs and they were there to support the information presented. There was a pie chart showing how much money the speakers was spending each month. There was a bar graph showing how much money the speaker was able to save each month. Now this next prompt sometimes works and it doesn't. I said, take me to the time code of the first graphic. So it says the first graphic is shown at 52 seconds. Here's the link. So let's go ahead and click this link. Take me to the time code of the first graphic. Let's see if this link takes us to that point. Nope, it took us right to the beginning of the video and not to the 50 second mark. So that is a limitation I hope they add here. So the 52 seconds, if this is clickable, then I could click and go right to that point of the video right now. It looks like it just gives me the link back to this video, but not to that specific time code. And sometimes it doesn't give me the time code at all. And I also really like this prompt. Is there a specific target audience that this video seems to be addressing? Again, before I commit to watch this entire video, I wanna make sure, am I the right target audience or is this financial advice for maybe complete beginners? Let's see what it comes up with. And it says, yes, this video seems to be addressing people 
that are struggling with debt. So maybe I couldn't tell that from just looking at the title. It says the speaker gives five rules on how he got out of 30,000 in debt in two years. So useful if that's what you're looking for, but maybe you're looking for investing advice. Maybe that's not quite right for you. And just now I said myself ton of time. That is not what I was looking for. I was looking for investing advice. And I'll finish this here with my favorite prompt so far with interacting with these videos. I haven't been able to find a solution like this ever before. Did this video receive any comments or engagement from viewers? And what are some of the common reactions? So a lot of times I don't have time with some of my videos if I have a hundred comments to go through, figure out what exactly I should change about the video when I redo it. This will help me with that. By the way, all the prompts that I'm sharing with you, I'll just include those in the description below this video for you to copy and paste. And look at this. It says, yes, this video received many comments and engagement. The most common reactions were positive. The viewers expressing gratitude. And here are five different comments from the video that he pulled. The rules were amazing. I definitely going to start using these to manage my spending. Fantastic update. This is going to be so great to just see what was the reaction to a video. Remember YouTube dislikes are now gone, right? So a lot of times we may watch a video and half the people disliked it and we don't even know that. And Claude also had a huge update, the other large language model competitor to Bard and ChatGPT. So I'll link that video if you want to watch that next. Hope you found this useful. I'll see you next time.